and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a Max Payne 3 lower third. So let's get to, let's get on to After Effects and we're going to go to Composition, New Composition, call it Comp 1, make it 1920 by 1080 pixels, make the frame rate 29.97 frames per second and uh, the duration to be 10 seconds long and the background color to be black. We're going to go to Layer, New, Text, call it Chapter 1 but with an I, and make the font Arial black and make it a white filling. And what we're gonna do is we are going to go to here and open up the transform Eric, uh, tool and we are going to keyframe scale and the position. We are going to scale it to a very small size, very small. And we are going to align it. And if you do not have the align tool, you just go to here and click align, go to window and then Center this up, and what we do now is next frame we increase the size by a lot, almost like completely, like in like the whole frame, and we align it again. Actually, no, we don't align it. That was that's my mistake. I want to actually position this. You can hold shift to keep it in like the same X position put it about here and keep it on for like a few frames so then we click these two and then go to the next frame and then we change the scale to about like somewhere around 100 or it just depends on your font size I'm gonna do like 100 and I'm going to change position as well also change the y-axis a little too and then keep it on for a few frames keyframe to the next area and we are not going to change the scale this time we are going to change the position so we're going to change up the x-axis and now we're going to go down to the y-axis and put it about here because we need room for the like lower like for like the comment part um, so you know we got this it doesn't look like what it is in the video I have on my YouTube channel but it will be when I add the uh, screen glitch stock footage it's um uh, it's on YouTube you type in screen glitch uh, free stock footage too and it'll like come up with this and you like download it and you add it by your lower frame and you turn off the visibility and the sound. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go to layer, new, adjustment layer. But yeah, it's right here. You can change up the area of like where it goes. So you put it above this because you want it to be above the chapter because it's going to change the chapter one heading. Now we're going to go to, um, wait, why is motion blur on? Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay. This, yeah. So we're going to go to Effect, Distort, and Displacement Map. And we're going to map the displacement to the screen glitch. And when and we're gonna uh, reduce this by one frame here so the first frame doesn't have it. And we're gonna make the horizontal glitch very minimal, but a very strong vertical glitch yeah vertical glitch yeah and what happens here is we're going to yeah so what it does here is it has like this like sort of glitchy transition right here and then once it gets positioned here we're gonna make it have one last glitch so we're gonna duplicate this by doing command D and now we're gonna go here, actually no, we're not, we're not gonna do that, we're gonna go here, and now we're gonna put it there. And now that's been settled, we um, go to, uh, uh, we control uh, all of these, we control and click all of them. So what you do is you just control click like that, or if you wanna go even quicker, you just click at the top layer and hold shift and you click the bottom layer and then you right click and you do pre-compose called pre-comp header 
or whatever you want to call it. And just render it, now it's good. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the, uh, the like comment area, something rotten in the air, because that's what the first chapter in the game is called. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layer, new, text, and we're gonna do each, each word will be its own layer. So something, layer, new, text, rotten, layer, new, text, in, layer, new, text, the, wait, no. the, layer, new, text, air. And you go to the mouse icon and you turn out the visibility for everything except for something. And what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, go to transform and we are going to keyframe uh, well, first we're going to make sure that it starts here, so we're going to reduce it to here. And we're going to keyframe the position and the scale. And we're going to make the scale very large, almost up to the entire frame. And we're going to position it a little up on the y-axis. And now we're going to go to the effect, distort, CC slant. And slant it by 30. And put the uh, heart of the slant in the center of this text effect. And yeah, there we go. So it looks like this. And so for a few frames, it goes here. And then we, no shorter than that, like about, actually, no, that's good. Make it the same position and scale. And now we're going to completely change it now, including the slant. So we're going to start from the beginning, put the slant here. And what we're going to do is, um, we're also going to put here, so we're going to press U, that's the Uber key, and it shows all the keyframes. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep it here too, uh, turn on that button, and then go to the very next frame, make this at zero, and the scale, make it much smaller, like about this size, and we are going to position it right below the chapter one. And we are going to change up the x axis a bit, x -axis a bit so it's going to line up with the C. And just make it go down a little bit on the y axis. So like somewhere like this position and it'll look nice. So we've got the first letter down except for um, one more thing that I would like to add are um, Venetian blinds. So we're going to click on here, go to effect, transition, and Venetian blinds. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, change the direction to 90 degrees. And we are going to make the width 10. And the transition, it's got to render a bit, sorry, to about 30. So now it looks something like this. And so it like appears like this. And we're going to keyframe that. And do the Uber key again to uh, show all the keyframes. Go here, keyframe that. And now we are going to turn that down to zero. So now it looks like this. And now we need to add the other letters. Um, and we're not going to emphasize another uh, word. Uh, don't, I didn't mean to say letters back there. I didn't say words. We're not going to emphasize the other words until the end when it's the word air. Because like Max Payne like emphasizes certain words like with their editing techniques. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go here. Oh yeah, we need to turn on the visibility. And we need to position it. We need to go to transform. Uh, make it uh, the same scale as it is right now. So like 58%. And we're gonna position it right alongside 
here, give it some spacing because it would actually have spacing in real life. Let's see if that looks about right. Yeah, it lines up well enough. So no, that's gotta be it's gotta be more abrupt. So it's like and now we're gonna go a few frames later, and now we're gonna add in, change the scale to 58%. Actually change all of the 58%, we can do that by doing uh, click, shift, and click, scale, 58%. All of them are 58% now. And we're gonna make them, no, whoops, that's, I've selected all of them. Select each one, one by one have it be about like the same distance from each other. We might change the distance from them like in time. And we're gonna turn on the visibility of all of them. And now we are going to change the position of this. Yeah, you know, actually I, didn't, I don't see why I had to click on the P, press the P for that. So we're gonna go here. There's some spacing now. Go to the V which is here now. Space it out. And now for the air, we're gonna emphasize this, so put it here. We're gonna make it lined up right here, but we're going to uh, keyframe the scale. So start out here, but it's gonna be much bigger. And now we are going to make it extend for a few frames, keyframe that, and make it go back to 58%. But now we also need to keyframe the position. Actually, no, we're going to open up transform again, sorry. And we are going to just keep that same keyframe, but now when it gets to 58%, we need to change up the position and yeah now it's like this but there's still a few changes we need to make so first we're going to look over this that looks really good but there's still some changes that uh, need to take place such as um, there needs we need to add Venetian blinds to this, and also uh, put a square around it and uh, turn this into like a black background. So the way we're going to do that now is we are going to go to the we're going to go to header and we're going to put it at the top of all the other layers. So put it above air, and we are going to go to um, layer new shape layer and once it goes to once the air gets like big right here like some way midway into this or like one frame after we are going to uh, make it have a fill of white and get rid of the stroke by holding option or alt and clicking it a few times till it gets this red line that crosses this out diagonally and we are going to do this but we're also going to duplicate this put it above here put it here uh, change the duration of the shape layer as well but now we're also going to go to effect color correction tint and uh, swap the colors. And now it has this, but now we're going to adjust uh, the, uh, the rectangle. So we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, there we go. That's about right. I like that. So, but now this won't stay for long. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to So it'll be like a very quick, we want it to be longer than that. Uh, 
Um, but actually, no, we don't want it to be longer than that. I'm sorry, I keep on, I keep on choking up. I'm sorry. This is like my sixth take on this tutorial. So, all right, sorry I uh, had to make a cut back there because I made a mistake twice. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Shape Layer 1, go to Effect, Transition, Venetian Blinds, make the transition 30%, change the uh, direction to 90 degrees, and the width to 10. And now it looks nice like this, but it's not gonna stay like this the entire time. So we're going to hit the Uber key, you know, because we haven't even keyframed anything, my mistake. Uber key. But it's not going to. We're gonna put. The, Yeah, so we do it like this, it's going to be a 0% keyframe, another 0% keyframe, and then it goes to 30%. And then for a few frames, it'll be like this, so we click this button again, and then the next frame, we put it back to 0. So. So, there we go, that's how you uh, make a uh, Max Payne 3 style. Lower third.